for those who want the fully integrated experience of having Office 365, email, OneDrive for Business, and so on, you can use Teams for Education as a classroom learning platform. It's got a place for your class discussions, conversations, sharing links, videos, uh, having a little fun, uh, giving each other feedback, having important conversations. There's a place for class files that you can upload and share or even create new folders or Word, Excel, PowerPoint right through your web browser. There's a class notebook feature. So for those of you who like OneNote and the OneNote functionality of sharing content with one another and taking collaborative notes and the assignment piece is, is part of class notebook, that functionality is built right into a team for those who want to use it. Assignments represents Microsoft's shift from Microsoft Classroom to a very similar way of doing digital assignments. So very quickly, a teacher could set up a new assignment, give it a title. Let's say I'd like to do some podcasting, have my students create a podcast using Microsoft Sway. You can enter any instructions as well as a due date. We'll make this one due at four o'clock on Friday. Decide whether you want turn late turn-ins allowed or points. If you do want points, you can specify how many points you want if it's a weighted assignment. You can attach reference materials. This is great. You can attach uh, files for kids to view from your OneDrive, fully built in and integrated, or links. So links to any websites you can attach for reference materials. Now, if you want to make copies of templates for students in Word or PowerPoint, you can create that template and add that as an attachment. So it would be a specification of what students would turn in. And you could find that file in your Office 365 OneDrive and attach that as a file template, which they could edit and then submit back to you. What works really well with this is that students, when they submit assignments back to you, they can attach assignment attachments in a very similar way. They can have files from their OneDrive, or if in the example we were giving here using Microsoft Sway, they could, create, they could just type the web address to their Sway or Office Mix or any other web-based tool that they've been working in and enter that as part of their assignment submission. So very quickly and easily, once I've created as a teacher all the specifications for my assignment, I hit assign. And then anybody who's in my Teams class would be able to see that functionality uh, show up. Um, what's, what's interesting about the assignment view is that you need, students would need to know what the due date is because uh, it's not going to show they would have to know. So if it's sometime in uh, upcoming weeks, there isn't a list anywhere of assignments that are due. They would have to keep going and looking through the calendar to find out when an assignment was due. But once they have that, the student could then uh, go in their timeline, open it up, and work on it. And teachers, once a student has um, submitted an assignment, the teacher can easily see what work they need to review and here's an example from a Sway podcast that the student has created and the link that the student has created to their podcast. So um, it's a very simple and easy assignment tool that's fully integrated into Office 365.